Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a data thing on Bubble using data from a Google Sheet. First, I'm going to head over to Bubble. Under data types, you need to first create a new data type. So I've got location preference here. And then the next step is to create a new field under the data type. So I've got location choices as the new field and it is a text field. Now uh, I'm going to head over to app data and you need to create a new entry under app data. So I've got a new entry here called remote. I've done the same with another data type called professions and I have a new entry called professions here. Okay, so the next step is to head over to the API settings and expose all the data types that you would like to access from Integromat. So I've got profession exposed here and location preference exposed here. Now I'm going to head over to my Google Sheet. So I've got one column called profession choices and another column called location choices. And this is the data I'll be sending to Integromat to create data things dynamically. And on Bubble, I've created the sample page, which is just a simple form. And I've got a drop down here and a set of radio buttons here. And both these elements fetch dynamic data when the scenario is run. And the setup is explained in detail in the article. And now I'm going to head over to the scenario. It's a simple scenario with the watch a worksheet Google Sheets module as a trigger. And two identical modules here from Bubble, the create or update a data thing module. Under type name, you need to enter the name of the data type. So I've got profession here. And under entry fields, you need to create the, the fields. So here we again enter the name of the field, choose the type and map the value from the Google Sheet. The same is done in this module. And now I'm going to run the scenario once. And there you go, as you can see, the scenario ran successfully. And it created four new data things in each of the new data types. I'm going to head back to Bubble. And here you can see the new data things under location preferences and also under professions. And this is a preview of the form I had created. And in the preview, we can see in the drop down, the data things have been populated. And similarly, the data things have been populated uh, as radio buttons here. So that's that. Um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to basically send data back to Integromat when a form like this is submitted on Bubble. Thanks for watching.